all vegan. to go back to the malls on Labor Day, or not Labor Day, I wanted to go back to the malls on Memorial Day to get more sales, and that is what me and my fiance did. We went out this past weekend and we got some few things. I wanna start off with uh, the jewelry that I got um, this past weekend, and then not in any particular order. Uh, hopefully we'll just go by stores instead of like styles. Um, and then we can show you like the rest of the clothing that we got in the haul. But first, I wanted to start with the jewelry. This is one of the necklace pieces that we got, um, that I got. This is from H&M. I will have all the prices linked, not linked, but like on the screen so that way you guys can see them. Um, but this is just simple two layered necklace. I also got this necklace from H&M. This is like, has two circles on it and I thought it was really pretty so that I got this one. Moving along, uh, this is the next thing that I got. This is an anklet. This is from H&M, I think. Where is this one from? No, actually this one is from, uh, this one is from Old Navy. So I got this one. It's a two layered anklet. And I thought that was cute. I thought it matched the one from H&M pretty well. Next, oh, also from H&M, um, I got these rings. I thought they were pretty cute. Most of the jewelry that I have here is gold or like rose gold. My wedding or my engagement ring is silver, but I like prefer like other accessories to be like gold and rose gold. For now, I think that silver is kind of timeless. Um, I feel like gold is probably trendy for me right now. Uh, I don't think I'd like it forever, but for right now, I have mostly gold accessories. So next I have Aeropostale uh, is where we went next. And I have this one necklace on the top. On the top necklace here, it has the like a heart rhythm on it, which I thought was cute since I am a nurse. And then on the bottom necklace, it's layered, so it's the same necklace. But on the last necklace, it has like a little anchor on it, and I thought that was really cute too. So I got that from H and or from Aeropostale. I also got this necklace from Aeropostale. This one is also a layered necklace it has little cherries on it and then just a plain necklace underneath so that one was cute i got another anklet from aeropostale um this one is actually layered three times so it has this dainty little uh, chain on the top and then the second chain has these little diamonds on them um they're like little gems they're, they're blue green and purple and i thought that was really pretty and then the bottom here has this pearl detailing it's really cute also from Aeropostale, I got these earrings. I'm not a huge fan of earrings. In the past, I haven't been, but recently I've been like wanting to get some because I've had my ears pierced since I was a little baby and I've never had earrings. Like I've never put them in my ears, never, you know. So I wore some this past weekend uh, 
during Labor Day and I really did enjoy them. I thought they looked pretty cute. So I got this pack from Aeropostal. It has some studs and then it has some dangly earrings. Um, the ones that are missing out of there, they're just kind of like, they're right here. They're just like studded triangle earrings. So I have those. Oh no, baby, you can't be up here. You say hi to the camera. You say hello, hello, I wanna be a star. And already is a star. Okay, so next we went to Fossil. So Fossil is a accessory store that sells purses, necklaces, earrings, flat sunglasses, any accessory that you can think of. Me and my fiance, he got a few things there because they do sell men accessories as well. Um, this is one necklace that I got while I was standing in the checkout line. I literally saw it and just grabbed it. They had it on sale for $10. Originally this was $55 and I thought this was such a cute, easy necklace to have. Simple just to throw on with any outfit. The next accessory that I got from Fossil is this sunglass case and these sunglasses. I thought they were so cute. I started wearing them right out of the store. So I just have these. Yeah, so I thought these were cute. I got these. And also with their sunglass case, it came with like a little bandana or like a little wipe, like a fabric wipe to clean, clean the lenses off, which I thought was really nice. So that's what I got from Fossil. And that is everything from the jewelry portion of this haul. I know it was a lot, but I'm excited. I'm so excited for these anklets in the summer. I think it's gonna look so cute, especially when I go to the beach and come out of the water and they're just sparkling. Oh, I think it's gonna be so fun. And then going out to eat on the moonlight, ocean. Ooh, I'm so excited. But anyways, okay. So we also went to Champs and we got, he had some shoes from, my fiance got some shoes from Under Armour and that's where he got his white shoes. He wore them over, Memorial Day weekend and they're already getting black scuffs on them. So it's time to break out the magic erasers uh, Erasers, I don't know if magic erasers actually work on white shoes. I have heard that they're literally magic <laughs> So funny, but I got these shoes. They are Adidas shoes. Um, we got them at champs They were they have no like tongue on them. So there's like it's just a slip on I really I really like that it's there's no like tongue with the shoe, if that makes any sense, whatever I'm saying, if that makes sense. But um, I tried these on and they're like super lightweight. All this fabric on top of the shoe is just, I mean, there's no like, like hard cone, hard, uh, it's all soft fabric, it's not hard. So it's really breathable and that was something I was looking for in a white shoe, however, I'm so worried that these will get dirty and messed up. So yeah, if you guys know if magic erasers work for shoes, um, let me know because my fiance definitely ruined his, almost ruined his. I think they're salvageable. <laughs> I'll leave a picture of what they look like. They're not really that bad. But um, yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to get scuffs out of white shoes, please let me know. And if magic, uh, magic erasers even work. So the first store we actually went into when we went to the outlet mall was Under Armour and I got this sports bra there. I think it's so cute. It has these like two straps or four straps really, four straps on the back and it has a crisscross. And I love sports bras that have a crisscross on the back. I think they're so comfortable. But this is what it looks like. It has the bull on it and the bull stands for something. These straps say respect blood sweat respect blood and sweat <laughs> basically what is that bull i wonder if it's a collaboration and it's a collaboration with dwayne johnson okay that that makes more sense so the bull represents the collaboration with dwayne johnson so he collaborated with um, a lot of the clothing that has the bull on it for right now at under armor it's the same brand that my fiance's shoes are in they it has the has the bull on it. And I noticed that when we went to Under Armour um, that a lot of them had that bull and that, you know, not usually there's a bull on it, but it's a collaboration with Dwayne Don Johnson. That's the reason why. The next thing I got at Under Armour is this basic tank top. Um, it is a little see-through, so it's really breathable. Um, you can just pair it underneath a sports bra and then you can just go running or you can go out to the grocery store, whatever you want to do, really. The sky is the limit. But <laughs> up next is this dress and i got this dress from forever 21 you guys can see it this dress was originally 25 dollars it was 24.99 however it had a cheeto stain on it i don't know what it was but it was like this orangey 
dusty looking color and it was very tiny on the actual dress but I was like I wondered if they had any more extra in stock in the back and I asked them and they said hold on let me check and came back that they this was the only one left in the store if that's true or not I don't know but anyways they said that they can give me a store discount and they ended up giving me like 50% off because the dress ended up being only, I can't remember, I think it was only like $12.50 or something. So that was a really great steal, honestly, for this dress that was in Forever 21 because I feel it and it's like really great quality. And that Cheeto stain we were talking about, it's out. You can't even tell it's on here anymore because I use Shout. If you guys have ever been in a clothing pickle where you have stains on your clothes or especially grease stains as soon as you get the grease stain or any type of stain really all you have to do is just come home and spritz it with shout and then the stain literally just dissolves it goes away and then you just put it in the washer I haven't washed this yet but I sure will I wanted this uh, the shout to dry on the dress before I washed it honestly I wanted to wear it before I washed it but being that there is a was a stain on it. I don't know whose hands it was in. So I'm going to definitely wash this. So I also went to a store called Windsor. This store was in the mall. It wasn't in the outlet mall. This store has a bunch of different dresses and accessories that also holds like a lot of prom dresses and a lot of homecoming dresses. If you are in high school and you like, I know prom season had passed already, but homecoming season is coming up this fall and if you have never heard of Windsor, this is one of the stores if you have one around you that you can go and look for homecoming dresses. They're, they have really cute dresses. This one's more of a cocktail dress that I have here, but it is so cute. It's not really, it's not actually a dress. It's actually a romper. So you can see in the butt that it definitely has, you know, like a short, what am I trying to say? It definitely has the short effect of a romper, but from the front, since it has this extra flap right here, it makes it look like like a dress. My boyfriend told me, or my fiance told me that I was, that I looked like I was going to um, a wedding in it. So this is more like a cocktail dress. They have all kinds of accessories, all kinds of pretty dresses, all kinds of pretty clothes. But if you have a Windsor near you, I would definitely try checking out that store if you have an event to go to because that is a very good place for very specific events or if you just like cute cocktail dresses. So. This next dress I got from Old Navy and this one may look similar to you guys if you watched my last video which I will pop up a card so you guys can see it linked down in the description box so you guys can watch that video as well. This one looks very similar to that top that I had on my previous video, but it's actually in a dress form now. So instead of just being a top, it's now a dress. So this is what I got at Old Navy. And so next I went, well, I guess I didn't go there next, but we went to American Eagle during our time shopping and I got a bunch of shorts. Actually, no, I just got two pairs of shorts. Their sale was not great. It was buy one, get one 50% off, and I hate that sale, but I really needed some new shorts. So I ended up just biting the bullet and just getting them. I got these white wash jeans um, that are distressed at the bottom. I thought they were really cute for summer. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to wear these. They are a mom shorts so they are high-waisted and they are looser near the bottom which i thought are so cute especially since you know with summertime you do have tan legs i think this wash is so pretty with tan skin and then the other pair of jeans or jean shorts that i got were these shorts here and i did wear these during memorial day already they are distressed they are the darker color blue jeans and they are the high rise as well high rise shorty is what they call them but my favorite type of jean and short to wear just because the material is so soft and so stretchy it buckle jeans or and shorts are also that same material and i just won't you know they're like my favorite shorts ever i know i just said that american eagle is my favorite pair of shorts however I did get some from Aeropostale as well. These shorts are just a high-rise distressed white short and they're super cute as well. Yeah, I think these are gonna be really great for summer. And then I also got a black pair of distressed high-rise shorts as well. I don't like the shorts that have like the cuff at the bottom of them. I just like them kind of like distressed looking and 
that's just my personal style but so next are just gym shorts really these are from where are these from these are from adidas yeah i have nothing else to say they're just white shorts from Adidas. And then I also got these black shorts from Adidas. Neither one of these shorts have like that inside liner. I don't care for it. If they have them, I usually cut them out, but these shorts here don't have them, so that's nice. I know like it tries to help protect. I know it like tries to protect like it being see-through, but. And then I also got these from Under Armour. I could have sworn I had. Oh, I did go over a tank top from Under Armour. So I missed these pair of shorts when I was going over Under Armour, but I also got these from Under Armour. They're just black shorts and they have this cute detailing on the side where it's like gray cheetah print with pink stripes. And I thought these were really cute. They're not like anything that I own yet, so I had to get some. That is everything for this haul. I am so happy that you guys decided to watch this video. If you're, you've stayed here all the way till the end, go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me your favorite things that you're excited for this summer. If you're going on any vacations, if you've been shopping, what did you get? Also, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any more of these uploads. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start putting all this stuff away and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Cause you're in my